authorities in Phoenix are apologizing right now. It's all over this video that went viral. It shows two police officers threatening to shoot a black couple and their young children after a reported shoplifting incident. Here's what 24-year-old mother Aisha Harper had to say about it. They automatically came straight to us with like force, like angry, like they was ready to like just, I thought I was gonna get shot in front of my kids. Now officials are responding, including the chief of police. Here's what she told our sister station, KPNX in Phoenix. I apologize to the family for the interaction. To be honest with you, I'm apologizing to the community too, because that is not what should have happened in that circumstance. The mayor of Phoenix is also apologizing on Twitter, posting a statement that says in part, there is no situation in which this behavior is ever close to acceptable. I'm deeply sorry for what this family went through and I apologize to our community. The couple has filed a $10 million civil rights claim and Jay-Z's Rock Nation has agreed to cover their legal cost. What an egregious display of racism, because the truth of the matter is that would not happen to my family, but it could very well happen to Brandon's family, Erica's family, Al's family. If something similar had not already happened to you, I don't know. But uh, I, I, I want to hear from you all. I, well, I thought, Sam, that there was more to the story. I got, we got the apology. I was like, and then what? What disciplinary action will be put forth against these they're officers. They're on desk duty, Al. Like, they're on desk duty. So they still have a job they, and they're still receiving a paycheck absolutely. paid for by the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for explaining that. I didn't. Well, I we do have Phoenix watching right now. And yeah. uh, according to activist uh, Sean King, and this is just my opinion, and I think we can all agree here on this panel, but chime in if you think differently. Yes, many people are, all, are calling for these officers to be fired. And not only to be fired, they're also calling for these, these officers to face legal ramifications. Because when you see that video, you see brutalization. You see uh, one of the officers kicking the father when the father had already been handcuffed. So you see bullying, you see brutalization, you see criminal activity. So some people are calling for them to be the ones to be handcuffed. And those officers, according to Sean King, are Christopher Meyer, Nicholas Welsh, Agnes Milborn, and Brian Harris. You Erica, what are you oh, thinking? Sorry, 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 no. Go ahead, Erica. Go ahead. No, I just, um, you know, I watched that, and um, I watched it a few times because sometimes, it, one, it's not shocking, but sometimes we're so jaded by knowing how the world works that I had to take myself outside of it as if I had never seen anything like this before. Wow. Um, what I saw was a young mother who had a young child not only was she carrying a child because she is pregnant keep that in mind but I also saw a young man who was the father who was complying and so calm so calm so when you're talking about escalating a converse or escalating a situation police are supposed to de-escalate and the idea that they started out with the threat of shooting them in front of their young children if you would have been in that car Sam what would you have been thinking because I was thinking the entire time, God, like, it's not even like when they see us, it's always how they see us right. and what's acceptable and what isn't acceptable. Like people have said a lot of things to me about the chip on my shoulder. Hell yeah, I have a chip on my shoulder because I'm very clear about the way that the world works and I'm very clear that when I'm looked at sometimes by certain people, I understand what that is. Nonverbal cues are very, very dangerous. So when I watch that, I my heart breaks for that family, my heart breaks for people who identify with them because if you you can't just be pregnant going to a store and coming home and minding your own business and not be threatened to be shot in front of your kids right. then what are we allowed to do and the greater the the, the, the the biggest atrocity in this in my opinion is now you have that family right who say they can't sleep for weeks the children right. the children are going to be scarred from this so now you have that family who's going to have a greater distrust in police rightfully so those children are going to grow up with a greater distrust in police rightfully so so how do we weed them out because there's good police officers out there who also want them weeded out because they're sick and tired of their names being tarnished. So I this guess, is I the mean, vicious Sam, cycle that we go through. Last week we saw that Sephora had a, a, an alleged shoplifting incident and they shut all their shores, their stores down for a day. What are the police departments doing? I mean, can we at least hold them to the same protocol that we do a makeup chain? We're like, maybe they need to shut down for a day and have some diversity training because whatever they're doing 
it, you, it either it's not working or well, it's not, it is Al. working. 2018 However was, you want to look at it. 2018 was Phoenix PD's most violent year in the uh, history. And uh, also in 2018, they had the most shootings in the country, officer-involved shootings in the country. So there's it, an issue here. And just think, these officers lied on the police report after. So during those other shootings, now we got a question, what, is what was written down on those statements the truth as well? But like Erica says, it's how they see us, yeah. not when they see us. Let's remember it was from the dollar store um, and there was a doll uh, that the child took. Four year olds, yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. So, yeah. And, and I, don't part care, of, I don't care if the daughter took the whole damn store. Well, it no, doesn't warrant that but, type of, 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 of behavior. But my point is, as a police officer, you have one or two ways that you can go about it. You can be a liaison for the community and maybe look at the situation and be like, wow, her, her parents weren't able to buy her this doll. I'm going to put the $2 in and buy her that doll. Well yeah. But no, instead, they threaten to shoot the parents. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, Phoenix, you're watching. We want to hear from you. Chime in, please. We want to hear from you and your experience. Yeah, police department needs to hear from you, Phoenix.